Hi, it's Melanie Grace here. Today, we are gonna use our rolled hem foot. I woke up this morning a little late for work and my hair was really greasy. So I grabbed this handkerchief and I put it on, but it's like very springy with like the lemons and the leaves, but I like the length of it because I can tie it and hang it down. And then I thought, I need to make one in fall fabric. Now I wanted something light, like the same material. And I remember I bought this like uh, remnant at Joann's and it seems a little bit more fall, even though it's still kind of light, but I thought it would probably be better suited for the season. So we are going to use this as our template. I'm going to cut this fabric, the same as this one. And then to finish off the hem, we are going to do a rolled hem. I don't know how this one was done, but I only have a straight stitch machine, which just got back from um, the machine store and it's all clean and they fix the needle and they fix everything, they tightened everything up, it's good to go. So we're gonna do it and um, you're gonna do it with me. So if you wanna do this, I will definitely put the measurements in the description or I'll tell you in the video or both. Um, but this way we can all make scarves, not scarves, but I guess it is a scarf that we can tie around our head for those greasy hair days, let's be honest, because that's gross. Okay, see, we're going to the cutting mat. I'm not gonna see you later, I'm gonna see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna untie this. I have this lovely double knot here. Let's first get the width. So, I actually think I got this scarf at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is probably about 10 and a half. I think I'm gonna make mine 11 because we still have to do the rolled hem. We're gonna write this down. So we're gonna do 11 wide by then what I might just do to get the length of this is fold it in half and then just duplicate it because otherwise it's going to get confusing. I don't know if you guys can see that whole thing or not. Basically, we are at 30 inches. So we're gonna say this is 11 by, we'll add 61 so it's a little bit longer. And now we'll cut. All right, so I wrote down in my measurements, here you go, 11 inches by 61. Now, again, this was a remnant, so I'm not even sure how much is this? This is double folded. Okay, so that's 21, so that would only come out to 42. This isn't long enough, this is only 29. So we're just gonna have to make it shorter. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. So I'm folding this um, in half. And the first thing I want to do actually is I want to clean up this side because that is pretty gnarly. So when I do this, I'm always going to be lining up the fold on my ruler. I very rarely measure with my mat. Let me see if I can get you guys over just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Here we go. Um, and it's obviously uneven, so I have to go down a little bit. I want to go to my most shallow part over here. All right, and we are going to be cutting this to 11 inches wide. I need to do that. I'm going to line this up. This, this ruler is a creative grid, so it has that half inch mark. And this is very stretchy fabric, so it's not lying flat. Okay, we're, we're gonna get it. Okay, 
we go. All right, so this is eight inches and I need to add three inches. Do I have three inches? Oh, actually, you know what we can do? I can use another ruler, which is two and a half, and I'm gonna use this half, and that makes three inches. So I'm gonna line this up like that, line that up like that. Looks golden. trim those wayward strings and if I wanted to I could probably make one more all right the next thing I want to do is I'm going to clean up these ends as you can see they are very they're fraying that is the correct terminology so I'm gonna cut right about all right so that is the start now if I wanted to uh oh which I think I might want to I might want to sew because I really like the length of the one that I'm wearing I might I might I no, I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna piece a scarf that just seems ridiculous let me get my rolled hem foot and show you how we're gonna do this. Got so many feet. <laughs> Look at that, all right. This is my rolled hem foot. So you can kind of see it has this kind of fold over piece right here. So how this is gonna work, your machine should have it. It would have like this little, where's the camera? Can you see that, okay. There you go, there's that, there's that curve. Oh, I got lipstick on my finger. Okay, let's head over to the machine and you can see how we're gonna do this. Depending on your machine, you might just have a foot that you can clip in with my machine. Um, I have to unscrew it all because all my feet have a pre-attached thing to it. There we go. There we go. This is kind of a wider foot. So I'll just make sure it's nice and tight. And I just noticed I don't have any string in my machine. Let me get that taken care of. All right, my thread is in. Let's grab our bobbin. Oh, and I've got a pink bobbin. Hang on. Okay, bobbins are in. Off to the races. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my short edges first. And the way we're going to do this is you're first going to place your fabric. Let's get you down. there so I want to put my fabric so it follows this curve okay and I want to make sure that it keeps going in Pretty cool, huh? All right, now I am going to go the length. We can cut. There we go. Let's trim off that thread. And 
again, you're going to feed this right into there, right into the foot. A little bit harder with this seam on there. We're going to figure this out. There we go. Uh oh, see, so we need to get up and over. you guys that looks so good love rolled hem all right now I'm just gonna be going around the outside until we're done I am just having fun oh okay okay go slow Melanie oh, oh no no him straight stitch machine it is really cool I actually discovered how to use my rolled hem in the year 2020 when I was making masks for people and my husband has this really big beard and he's like can you just make me a handkerchief and I was like actually I think I can so I did corner is proving to be the hardest part of this so we need to go over this is going to be our last stitch. All right, so I'm just going to do some final trims. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Yay! <laughs> All right, here it is. All right, now it's not as long, so we're going to see... I like to 
have one side longer than the other. Oh, it's, it is too short, but that's okay because we learned this together. <laughs> there and then you can just wear it right away how, like how short was that but yeah so we have this lovely rolled hem it just finishes it off really nicely and um once again if you were going to make this i lost my my little paper with the measurements but you saw it on the screen grab the nicest you know this is not even quilting cotton it's it's like t-shirt material and make yourself a little handkerchief you can put around your ponytail you can tie it around your your purse handle you can wear it in your hair I could actually tuck this and then just kind of wear it as a headband and fix my hair <laughs> well thanks so much for watching and doing something new with me um, if you do have a rolled hem foot for your machine I say try it out grab you know some fabric that you're not sure what to do with or that you really love and Make yourself a little scarf, a headband, a little ponytail holder, whatever you want. All right, this is Melanie checking out. <laughs> Bye. And then here is the close up of that rolled hem. So when it's long enough, it actually will self tuck. So you can see, you can't even see the raw edges. Over here, I didn't have it long enough, so it didn't self tuck. But the more, if you let more fabric go in, it self tucks. And I think that is probably the coolest part of the rolled hem foot because it'll just close off that seam for you. But yeah, you can kind of see how it just took it. And this part was too short, so it didn't self tuck. It didn't roll. The hem did not roll. But then when you look at this side, it is just perfectly distanced between the edge. The corners, you know, we're just going to deal with that. There you go. That one's kind of sucks. <laughs> Anyways, get it done, guys. Love you. Bye.